Hey there YouTube, this is Wheelchair21, and on today's rolling review is, well, the procrastinated, or long awaited, DX Brake Gunner from Kamen Rider Drive. It is Machin Chaser's henchin device, as well as his version of the shift cars, Chaser Bat Viral Core. The box is awesome, I like the whole design, I like the Grim Reaper logo over here. Love it, I love the whole joking, uh, warding breaking hazard. Love that. I like how the box actually shows like clips from the music video promotional uh, stuff. On the back it shows how you actually activate the device by holding it, uh, firing it, placing in viral cores to activate your viral armament, as well as you can also use the Max Flare car. And it also shows how it can somewhat work with the other drive toys up here on the top. Anyways, let's go into this awesome purchase I made with Hobby Link Japan. Let's look at the actual brake gunner itself, which, you know, it's a pretty cool gun device, as well as a buster knuckle. It works great together. It's a great combination. I mean, you have pretty much kind of like a super brass knuckle, as well as, like I said, your little short pistol here, which is a laser. Uh, your speaker's at the bottom. Your switch is at the back of the butt of the gun and stuff. Uh, all, all of this works perfect where the placement is. The whole design, pretty good. Decent. Like the whole cr the uh, metallic silver, and I like this purple. I would have liked if it was a little bit more metallic looking, but it's all plastic. Really nice plastic. Pretty hard plastic. Breaks into rubbery plastic. Grim Reaper logo. Originally, when I got the device, I actually forgot this was branded on there. I thought it was actually painted in silver. When looking at the show, it's just a branding, which is kind of weird. I would have liked if it was silver like it is in the show. Uh, well, no, it's not actually silver in the show, but I would have liked if it, you know, was painted how it is on every other thing that Chaser Chase has. I mean, he is Roid Mew Triple Zero. It's pretty cool. Um, I just love the whole aspect of the device. It just nice little pistol, nice cool design. Um, retooled as that loop and gunner, but overall, pretty simple. Your Viral Core, which is based on the whole shift car thing, has its reader at the bottom. Uh, this does not actually bend because Viral Cores aren't like shift cars. You don't flip them and t turn them, crank them. The whole Bat logo kind of reminds me of like one of the Batman uh, mobiles made by, I think, Kenner during the 90s. Uh, pretty awesome. I like the whole design. Uh, even has that Batman vibe, the Batmobile vibe. They really, I think, built this one to be kind of a little bit of everything, but uh, neither, nevertheless, it, you know, uh, it's just a basic viral core. Most of Chaser's stuff is just silver and gray, with the only thing is the windshield being colored in. Let's look at our actual engine device. While I'm just turning it on, it will say break up, I believe. Alright, I was wrong. I completely forgot it says break your body. Uh, first sound. That's your basic gun sound. You press this. That goes break. Gun. The brake sound. Makes a nice metal clang. And to use it to henshin, you just hold your hand like so. And that's the whole way to henchin. You just hold in this knob here. I'll do it one more time. Uh, basic abilities. But once you add in your viral core, which slides right up in here. It reads, reads it, makes it sound, makes a new s actual sound for shooting, makes like a sonic dispersal, and to do the execution, you hold it as if you're henchening once again. And that's pretty much 
how the brake gunner works. It's a simple press, press, hold, press, press, hold, put car system in. Really neat, really nifty. It's a really basic toy, and it's one of the fairly cheap engine devices and role play devices made by Bandai in recent years. I think this is one of the best parts about Drive, because Mosh and Chaser, to me, I, I jokingly say, is like the Dean Ambrose or the Seth Rollins of the show. He kind of is the show stealer. He's the highlight of your show. And he's what everyone's there watching it for, I think, at times. Because a lot of the focus has been kind of around him when it's not been Kiriko or actually Drive himself. Honestly, it's a great design. Black, purple, silver, really good, really evil, but also anti-hero-esque. So, it's a great motif, especially since he is proto-Drive. Works out exceptionally. I just love this weapon whatsoever. I love the sounds it makes. There are a few more sounds which you can get by having the other two viral cores, which are Cobra and Spider, which I will be reviewing next. Honestly, if one is to get this product, get it now because its prices are going up. I had to use the box to balance because I'm getting a little tired of holding it. But, like I say, get it now, especially because soon Chase is going to be coming, Common Rider Chase, supposedly. So he will stop using this. The price on this will probably go up for a while. Uh, it's been going up right now. Eventually it'll go down like most villain-esque roleplay does at times. So I recommend it. Some stores that still have it would probably be Hobby Link Japan as well as CS Toys. Um, I enjoy this. This is one of my favorite pension devices roleplay toys at, as of recent years. So for my final evaluation, I said I get it. If you're a huge fan of Kamen Rider Drive, you'll want to probably have it. Yeah, like I said, if you're a huge fan of Drive, you'll want to get it. If you're a huge fan of Motion Chaser, you'll enjoy it. If you're a fan of Villain Role Plays, you'll like it. Um, I can say you're not going to be expecting too much out of this. It makes three generic sounds. Once you have the viral cores, it makes at least six more new sounds. Uh, each viral core gives it a new presentation as well as uh, playability. Now, the one feature that I will show in the viral core review is that it can use other shift cars, it can read some of the other shift cars, but it does not make execution sounds. So stay tuned for the next part of this two-part review, and we'll see you next time with another Rolling Review and or Doyle's DVDs.